Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, I have discussed how genetic algorithm works with a simple example. In this video, I will discuss different crossover operators in genetic algorithm with simple examples. Basically, the crossover operators in genetic algorithms were divided into three groups. First one is binary coded crossover operators. Second one is real coded crossover operators. And third one is order coded crossover operators. Each of these particular methods will be discussed in detail one by one. The first crossover operator is single point crossover operator. In this case, uh, first we need to select uh, two parents chromosomes uh, for mating. This can be done with the help of uh, fitness uh, function. First, we need to apply the fitness function for the given uh, set of uh, initial population. Based on the fitness function, we will get the fitness score. And using that particular fitness score, we will select two parents for mating. In this case, I have selected the P1 and P2 as the two chromosomes for mating. Once uh, two chromosomes are selected, next uh, we need to select one point for uh, a crossover at random. So in this case, I have selected the crossover point at uh, two here. So this is selected randomly. You can select three, four or whatever it may be. Once you select this uh, crossover operator, the next step is to swap the bits at the right of this particular uh, crossover point. So in this case, uh, the right of this particular crossover point, we have four genes. So we need to swap this particular uh, bits or the genes here. So once you swap this particular thing, you will get uh, the new offspring that is O1 and O2 over here. So in this case, you can notice right side of this particular crossover point uh, in the first uh, parent, we have 1010 that is a part of uh, offspring 2 here and 0100 is a uh, part of uh, parent 2 that is a part of uh, O1 in this particular case. This is how the single point crossover operator works in genetic algorithm. Coming back to the second uh, crossover operator that is a two point crossover. In this case again we need to select uh, two parents. I have selected P1 and P2 here. Next we need to select two crossover points in this case. So in the previous case, we have selected one crossover point. In this case, we have to select two crossover points randomly. So once you select two crossover point, we need to swap the bits between these two crossover points. So in this case, I have selected crossover point at two and four. So between these two and four, we have two bits. We need to swap those particular bits. So once you swap this particular two bits, we will get a new offspring here. That is O1 and O2 in this case. The third uh, crossover operator is a multi point crossover. As said earlier, we need to select uh, two parents. P1 and P2 were selected here. Once you select uh, two parents, uh, next we need to select more than two crossover points here. So in this case, I have selected crossover point at one, two, and then four here. So once you select uh, more than two crossover points, we need to swap the bits at alternate sites. That means first we need to start with the first site here. That is in this before uh, the crossover point one, we have one site. These particular bits need to be swapped here. So uh, we need to swap these particular bits. After this, so we should not swap this one. After this, we have one more site here. We need to swap it and we need not swap this particular last bits here. So once you swap these particular bits or the genes, we will get a new offspring here that is uh, written with the help of O1 and O2 over here. Coming back to the next uh, crossover operator that is known as a uniform crossover. Again, we need to select two parents. I have selected two parents P1 and P2 in this case. Next, uh, we need to select uh, the crossover point. In this case, uh, we need to select the crossover point based on uh, the tossing of a coin. So once you toss a coin, there are two possibilities. Either you will get head or you will get tail. Whenever you get head, that will be marked as one. Whenever you get tail, that will be marked as zero here. So for each gene in a pair, uh, parents, we need to toss this particular coin. So in the first case, we have tossed that coin. We have marked that particular outcome here. In this case, the outcome is marked as one. The meaning is we got head here. Similarly, for the second gene, we have marked it as zero. Third one is zero. Fourth one is one. Fifth one is one and sixth one is zero here. Now, once you get this particular crossover uh, positions, next what we need to do is uh, we need to swap the bits. Now, how to swap the bits is uh, wherever you have marked the one for these particular genes, we need to swap those particular uh, genes over here. So in this particular case, the first uh, gene is marked as one here. So this zero and this one will be swapped here. And then uh, we have one one over here. These two things that is zero one and this one zero will be swapped here. Once you swap this particular thing, we will get a new offspring here. That is O1 and O2. The next uh, crossover operator is a half uniform uh, crossover. 
So in this case, again, we need to select two parents. I have selected P1 and P2 here. Once you select the two parents, uh, next we need to select the uh, crossover points here. Again, we are going to use a tossing of coin uh, method here. Once you toss a coin, there is a possibility of either head or tail. Whenever there is a head, we need to put it as one. Whenever there is a tail, it will be marked as zero here. But in this case, we should not do it for all the genes in the parents. What we need to do over here is uh, we need to check the corresponding bits in P1 and P2. If those particular bits are not same, in this case, you can see here the first bit. The first bit is uh, zero in parent one, one in parent two. They are not matching. So the meaning of this one is we need to toss the coin here. When you come across the second uh, gene here, the P1 has one and P2 has one. So there is no need to toss the coin here. Similarly, we need to perform wherever there is no matching in P1 and P2. So once you get this particular thing, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to swap the bits wherever we have uh, a one. Wherever there is zero, we should not swap the bits over here. So once you do that particular thing, we will get a new offspring that is O1 and O2 over here. The next uh, crossover operator is a uniform crossover with uh, crossover mask. Again, we need to select uh, two parents. In this case, I have selected P1 and P2. In this case, uh, for each of these particular bits in the parents, uh, we need to write the crossover mask here. Randomly, we need to write either 0 or 1 for each of those particular genes. So once you write that particular 0 and 1, what we need to do over here is we need to apply this particular uh, algorithm that is Whenever the crossover mask is equal to 0, we need to select a P1 bit to form the O1 here. If the crossover mask is equal to 1, then we need to select a bit from P2 here. If you want to select an offspring O2, in that particular case, if you have crossover mask is equal to 0, then we need to select a P2 bit. If crossover mask is 1, then we need to select P1 bit here. So this is exactly opposite to O1 in this case. So that has been shown over here. If you look at here, in this particular first case, the crossover mask is equal to 0. The meaning of this one is for O1, we need to select a bit from P1 here. So that is what we have done here. The second crossover mask is equal to 1. Because it is 1, we need to select it from P2. So that is what we have done here. Similarly, we have to do it for other points also. So once you do this part of thing, we will get O1. For O2, again, we need to check crossover mask. In the first case, we have 0. Because we have 0, we need to select a bit from P2 here. So that is what we have written. That is 1 in this case. Because the second one is 1, we need to select a bit from P1. So that is what I have written here. The same uh, concept we need to use for all the bits of this particular uh, uh, chromosome so that we will get a new offspring over here. The next, uh, the crossover operator is a shuffle crossover operator. Again, we need to select two parents. I have selected P1 and P2. In a shuffle crossover uh, operator, there are two things we need to do. The first one is we need to select a single point crossover. That is, we need to select one random uh, crossover point here. I have selected two. Along with that, we need to shuffle the genes of both the parents. Randomly, we need to shuffle these particular uh, bits here. Once you shuffle it, we will get this part of thing. Because if you notice the original one, we have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. But after shuffling, we got 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 here. So once you shuffle it, as well as if you identify the crossover point randomly, we need to apply the single point crossover here. That is, after this particular crossover point, whatever the genes are there, we need to swap them. So once you swap it, you will get this particular offspring here, that is O1 and O2 in this case. Coming back to the last crossover operator, that is a three parent crossover here. Uh, in this case, uh, we need to select three parents here. I have selected P1, P2, P3. With respect to, to each parent, we will get one uh, offspring here, that is O1, O2 and O3 in this case. Now, how to uh, get that particular O1, O2, O3? For that reason, we need to uh, use this particular simple logic. If you want to generate offspring uh, O1, we need to take the combination of P1, P2, P3 here. Now, if the bit in P1 is equal to uh, bit in P2, that is P1 and P2 are same, then we need to select P1 bit for this particular O1. If P1 is not equal to P2, the bit in P1 is not equal to P2, then we need to select a bit from P3 for O1 here. Now, if you look at this example, in the first uh, bit, that is uh, first position, we have 0 in P1, 1 in P2. They are not matching. Because they are not matching, we need to take a bit from P3 here. So that is what I have written. That is 1 in this case. Coming back to the second uh, bit position, 1 in P1, 1 in P2, they are matching. That's the reason we need to take uh, the bit from P1, that is 1 over here. The same logic has to be applied for remaining bits also. 
Now, if you want to select O2, what is that we need to do is, so we need to take this particular combination. Rather than going with P1, P2, P3, we need to take P1, P3, P2 in this case. Now, if the bit in P1 and P3 is same, then we need to take a bit from P1. If they are not same, we need to take a bit from P2 here. Now, if you want to generate O3, we need to take this combination, that is P2, P3, P1. If P2 and P3 are same, the bit from P2 will be taken. If P2 and P3 are not same, the bit from P1 will be taken so that we can form O3 over here. So, this is a simple logic we need to apply so that we can generate a new offspring or a generation over here. So, in this video, I have discussed a binary coded crossover operators in genetic algorithm. In the next video, I will discuss real coded crossover operators as well as order coded crossover operators in genetic algorithm. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.